and welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace on tour and I love to showcase the beautiful world that we live in. In this video, I will give you an insight of what is required and what it takes to become scuba dive certified. But before we head out there, remember to like this video and subscribe. There are new travel videos every week and I really appreciate your support. But for now, let's head out there. Are you intrigued of being able to explore the sea and what it has to offer? and go deeper than a normal snorkeling adventure, then you might want to consider getting scuba dive certified. For you to be able to join, for example, a diving tour or diving excursion, you would be required to present your diving certificate. There are a few different ways that you can achieve this and this is what we will be going through today. The first step that you will want to do is to get in contact with a diving center or diving school. Either it can be a local one from where you live or if you're planning to do it on your vacation, for example, do your research and um, I would advise you if possible to actually go in person to the diving school or diving center before you sign up or make any commitments because a really important part is that you feel comfortable and safe with that person as they will guide you through this whole process and with, with you every step of the way. And when you come to the diving center, you will say that I want to get an open water diving certificate, which is kind of the first level of scuba diving. And that means that you will be able to go diving at a depth of maximum 20 meters. And the second step is to choose which program you want to enroll in. There are two world-renowned diving certificates. The first one is PADI and the second one is SSI. These are very similar to each other. You will cover the same things in them. There are just two different certifications. Both of these are uh, accepted all around the world and um, you just have to do your own research in which one you would like to choose. One major difference is that SSI is a bit cheaper and the learning material is free. The diving school that I went to recommended SSI as it is a bit more modern than PADI. Um, everything is kind of logged and stored through their app. It was also a cheaper option. I went with SSI and I will be giving you an insight of what the different steps are and uh, what it took to become certified. Also, the steps are very similar for PADI. I would have loved a video like this when I was doing my research and starting out just to kind of know what to expect of the course, how it is uh, laid out and what, what you do. There are four different sections to the open water diving certificate. It involves the e-learning, the final exam, the pool dive, and the four dives open water that you have to do. Also, when I enrolled in the dive school, I was able to set up a plan for how I wanted to structure my days and how long it would take to get the certification. So what I did was that I uh, blocked out two days for e-learning, then one day for pool dive, and two days for diving. But before you can do any kind of diving, you need to complete the e-learning course and the quizzes involved. The e-learning was structured with six different sections where each section finished off with a quiz, reviewing the stuff that you had learned in each part. The six sections in the e-learning are your body and the aquatic environment. Section two using your life support equipment underwater. Section three, breathing gas and the effects on your body. Section four, the value of a dive buddy and executing your dives. Section five, the ocean and your diving equipment. Section six, your scuba diving experience and beyond. Once I had uh, completed the e-learning, I went back to the diving school and took my exam. I had my uh, final uh, written exam. It was a uh, 50 question exam, multiple choice, and the pass rate is 80%. So yeah, I passed that. To be able to pass, you have to have 
a score of 80%. The test was 50 questions, multiple choice, and it's all based on the e-learning and the quizzes that you have done. So if you have, you know, fully read everything and understood and done the quizzes, you will be uh, fit to <laughs> do the final exam. Once you're finished with the theory, it is time to get in the water and start really refining your skills in uh, being able to dive. Also, before you do any kind of dive, you have to fill in a hefty amount of paperwork declaring um, your health status. You have to be a fully fit and healthy individual to be able to be allowed to go diving. Also, try to make sure that you have some kind of insurance that covers diving because uh, not all standard insurance has that. So today it is uh, time for the first uh, confined water session or first pool session. Um, so yeah, I believe that the session will last about two hours and we'll go through all of the things that we learned uh, in the theory and uh, put it to practice. The first thing you will do is a pool dive and there you will do all of the kind of basic training that is required for the course. You will start with being shown how to assemble your equipment, what the different parts are, how they work, and you will then learn how to get in the water, how to use the regulator, how to breathe, and how the different parts work. The different aspects that are checked in the pool also you can see through the e-learning and the videos in it. One of the skills that you will be doing is filling your mask with water and emptying it. Taking off your mask, putting it on and emptying it of water. Learning how to equalize your ears, how to change your regulator if you're out of air. So to take out your regulator, use the extra regulator. How to bring back your normal regulator. How to share air with a buddy. How to maintain neutral buoyancy, i.e. a neutral diving position. In the pool you will also learn how to take off your weight belt, both in the water and above the water. Tired diving saving techniques. Once you have done your pool dive, it is time to complete your four open water dives. Essentially, you will be doing the exact same exercises and uh, showing the skills that you did in the pool, but in open water and of course a lot deeper. So the first two ocean dives are now done. We did the kind of backflip uh, into the ocean. Um, that's the entryway and uh, yeah it went well. Uh, first I had issues with the buoyancy and, and kind of getting a good position but then during the second dive it went better uh, and then tomorrow I have dive number three and four. During these dives you will learn how to enter the water from a boat. You can either do a back roll or a step in depending on what type of boat you're in. Before the dive, your dive master will do a briefing of the dive and what you will be doing, what is expected, and how the dive will look. You will get into your wetsuit, assemble your equipment, and then head out on the boat. When you reach your diving spot, you will put on your tank and mask and all the equipment and enter the water. You will then start to descend and of course, maintaining a regular and calm breath, going deeper and deeper down until you reach the bottom of the sea. At the bottom, you will showing, be showing your different skills. On the way down, you'll also do the mask exercise, taking off your mask, filling it with water, etc. And when you get down to the bottom, you'll be showing skills of changing regulator, sharing air, taking off your weight belt, how to handle cramp, and then you will practice your neutral buoyancy by swimming around and maintaining this position all the time, not touching the bottom. You'll be tested on checking your air and communicating how much you have left and using the different hand signals that are involved. 
and then you will start your ascend upwards very slowly then practice on the skills of reaching the surface on the surface you will also take off and on your weight belt and your vest and also do the tired diver saving on dives three and four you will be showing the skills that you yet not have that you have not yet shown on the first and second dive really getting in a routine and uh, being confident in your skills and the processes of and the different steps of the diving. You, you will also learn how to use a navigation watch and navigate in the water and also how to do a rescue ascend. Once all of these four parts are completed you will receive your open water diving certificate and with the SSI app you will have everything stored on your profile. So here I can go into my SSI app. I will see that I have done a total of four dives. I can go and click programs and cards and I can see my card here and I have a open water diver card. I have my diver ID, the person who has certified me and my training center. You will then have your diving card which is really great because when you're traveling it's not always easy to keep track of cards so here you have everything in your phone and it's just easy to always carry around and if you log into your profile on the web uh, you can get even more information i can see that i'm at a level one at the moment with four dives and i can see that to reach the next level i need eight dives and then i will reach level two so it's really great to be able to see the steps and how you can grow and better yourself. As a diver you will also have a, a log book and uh, you can also have it online through the web so you can see the number so the first dive and what data was done, what place, the depth, how long you were underwater, if there were any uh, remarks and then you know the signature of companion or buddy. Yeah and this is also great because it really keeps track of of all of your dives so if you continue diving remember to write in your logbook to keep track of those so that was a run through of what to expect when getting your open water scuba diving certificate please let me know in the comments if you have ever learned how to scuba dive what was your experience did you use paddy or ssi if you have any questions about my experience or diving just leave them in the comments below and i will try to answer as best as I can. And that was all for this video. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.